Max, Georgia, how are we doing today? Doing pretty Fantastic. good. How about yourself? Not bad. Thank you. Not bad. So this may be one of the more humbling questions that I've ever had to ask on a junket because you're making me feel a little old. Uh, <laughs> doing the research, the fact that both of you were born after the show is supposed to take place. I found absolutely hilarious, a uh, little humbling, like I said. So Georgia, let's start with you. What do you remember about early 90s culture and, and kind of how did you get into that vibe for the show? Oh, man. Uh, you know, there's not a lot I do remember. Um, uh, you know, we are technically 90s babies, but we really grew up in the 2000s. Like, yeah. I consider myself more of like a Y2K kid. But uh, I think the prep was so fun because with hair and makeup, and I think one of the most fun things for me was the costumes. It was all vintage. You know, our costume designer, Heather Payne, she's fantastic. We did we had like authentic vintage pieces and so you really did feel like you were physically you know in that world in that time and you know even the set that we created it was yeah. like so all the props all the set dressing yeah it was so yeah. flashback and you just you felt right at home it was it was very cool i'm not going to spoil anything but i do get to destroy a vcr with a bat which is i mean come on yeah and you know what you call it vintage i call it the back of my closet so um <laughs> max i was going to ask you especially about that kind of mid 90s Wahlberg era where he really broke into because you do a great homage to the voice thank you and i'm, I'm curious how much did you let anything that mark has done in the past with ted inform your performance Oh, I mean, it definitely informed stuff like he, you know, there's two full movies worth of like data that I got to draw from in terms of like his mannerisms in both, you know, how he moves around and in the way that he speaks. Um, you know, like you said, the voice, I was really careful as best as I could to not do a Mark Wahlberg impression because I wasn't playing Mark Wahlberg. I was playing John Bennett at 16 years old. I think it worked out pretty well. I'm, I'm definitely proud of uh, the work that I did with the accent and the voice. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's a great little touch towards him, but still your own thing. So it's great. Um, Georgia, back to you. You're, you're both not strangers to television sets, uh, and you're both experienced when it comes to a McFarland set, having both appeared on the Orville. So I'm curious what your opinion is, because Georgia, you've had some tremendous work with some bigger television studios. What is it about a McFarland project that makes it feel like a family that you guys present so well in the show? Yeah, that's a great question. I think, you know, one of the biggest things was, is the, is just the energy that he brings to a set and the, the care that he has for each one of his cast members, castmates, you know, and, and the crew even, but, you know, we would do a lot of stuff like with him outside of working, you know, we would go do dinners and game nights and movie nights, whatever. So he worked really hard to create that dynamic, yeah. you know, to help us. And, and it didn't, and it wasn't phony though. It wasn't, it wasn't fake or, you know, it wasn't the classic course. like onboarding thing of like we're all family yeah, here. Yeah, you know? no, it was. It really felt like it. Yeah, yeah, it was super authentic and genuine. And I think you know I can speak you know for you two, but like I think we've all gotten so close and we've stayed close, and that's yeah. kind of one of the telltale signs. Is you know so yeah, he's he's fantastic. Well, last question. Speaking of kind of phony or fake. Uh, one of the episodes that we got to screen was unfinished, so we got a little peek behind the scenes of how Ted actually works on the set. So I'm really curious, because Max, obviously a lot of your scenes is with Ted. How do you create a relationship with the little puppet that's on the set the whole time? A lot of it goes into like the prep work from before we even started shooting. Like they, they uh, sent all of us in the cast life-size Ted dolls when we got cast that we could bring around with us and talk to and just get used to the physical space of the thing. Yeah, they encouraged it. They were like, live with him. Yeah, <laughs> bring him around with you, yeah. talk to talk him. Talk to him. Who cares if you look crazy? Yeah. You will look crazy. I like, looked crazy yeah. when we were shooting, talking yeah. to empty space. Uh -huh. But at a certain point, a couple weeks in, you started to be able to weirdly see him, like in your mind's eye. You could get a really good grasp of where he was physically and like how he moves around. Well, tremendous job on the episodes that I got to see. Best of luck with the rest of the season. And thanks so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, man.
Hey Real Students, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to Real School, click that round Real School logo right beside me. Also click that damn notification bell so you're aware of all of Real School's new content. You can follow me on Twitter and of course, if you get anything out of Real School, you can always give a little back. Just click the link in the description below or the button down there and you can become part of my Patreon team.